Ah, uh, everything hurts.
lesson, you're going to be performing a couple of different stunts. We'll start you out with a few barrel rolls. And if that goes well, you can take a crack at flying upside down. All right, pilot. It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Good. Okay, let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay, perform a barrel roll. Tones of steel! <laughs> I like it! Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay, perform three barrel rolls in a row. lesson will help you build your stick and rudder skills. You have to keep your plane steady while rolled over on either side. Perfecting this trick will really come in handy in the later lessons. Take off and head for the checkpoint marked at the runway. Then, I'll talk you through it. A knife is one of the harder moves. You'll have to keep your wings steady and use your rudders to maintain altitude. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect, now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. Good, let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, Roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Okay, perform a knife edge on the other side. Level out the plane. <laughs> that was an amazing run. You should be very proud of yourself.
out there. Looking solid! Nicely done! Very nice! Good job! You're looking good! In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to perform an emergency landing. Remember to begin decelerating while you are still airborne for a smoother touchdown. Then, once you're on the ground, the brakes should bring you to a full stop very quickly. Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're going to practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is going to stop pretty fast. Not too bad, but there's still some room for improvement.
You've been doing so well in the plane, we're gonna put you in a helicopter for this lesson. There are a few more controls than the stunt plane, but it's a little more forgiving. Try to finish the obstacle course without bursting into a ball of fire. And sign the waiver. lesson, but with a real emphasis on speed this time. Finish the obstacle course around the city before the timer runs out, and try not to crash. At the end of the course, you'll be required to safely land your helicopter.
Reloading now. Skydiving onto a moving target. So I hope you brought a change of underwear. <laughs> the target will be circling around the runway, so watch it carefully and pay attention to the route. It may take several tries, but once you get this down, you'll be terrorizing drivers all over Los Santos. The drop zone is on the back of a moving truck, so take your time maneuvering with your parachute. It's better to pull your shoe early than late. It will give you more time to track the target and try to match its speed.
combined extremely dangerous stunts with highly populated city areas in an assault course that will put everything you've learned during your time at flight school to the test. For your sake, I hope you've been practicing knifing and flying upside down. I want you to take your very best shot at this obstacle course. There are going to be special gates that will require you to fly upside down or knife through them. Look easy! Brings a tear to my eye to see how far you've come! 